This is a sport that's about speed, innovation, and pushing technology to the next level. But Formula One also has ambitious climate targets, and that includes around the car itself. When you look at a car across the season, about 80% of the car in race one at the beginning of a season is different to the car at the end of a season. We're constantly iterating and redesigning parts and then we make models of those cars. They all use materials. Then we test them in the wind tunnel and then we manufacture parts and we're constantly iterating that process. Now McLaren are sharing their work with other teams in Formula One. Working with their partner Deloitte, they've developed a handbook for the sport to help assess just how sustainable the cars are. We have set ourselves an ambition to research and develop a circular Formula One car. Now the reason why that's important is in a world where we have supply chain resilience as a challenge, we have finite resources on the planet and we also want to invest in research and innovation, we want to look at how we can find new materials and recycle more. These are the cars. Yes. They're highly engineered bits of technology. Yes. What does a circular Formula One car look like? First of all, I'm hoping you can't tell the difference when you look at it. It's going to look exactly the same. The second thing is it doesn't affect performance. So this panel is made from recycled carbon fibre, that is the waste material from the aerospace industry and we used it for the first time to manufacture this part which actually goes here on either side of the driver it's used for branding it's not safety critical so whilst we wanted to put something on the car to prove the concept we also didn't want to ever risk safety or performance in terms of on-track performance so this is what it is and, and as you can see it doesn't really look any different from any other part of the car but it's 90 percent less carbon intensive to produce than a normal virgin piece of carbon fibre. It's not just how materials are recycled for use in the car, but how the whole production process is applying green principles. We're constantly manufacturing parts for our racing cars, uh, our wind tunnel and pit equipment, so that's why it's so important to deal with these initiatives to reduce our footprint and uh, recycle things. New parts for cars are constantly being created between each race weekend. These tooling machines create the parts from metal and what's left behind is condensed into small pucks to make them easier to recycle. And the process also squeezes out the coolant used to make sure the metal doesn't overheat in the process and by doing that it can be reused. That's reduced our waste by up to 70% by immediately recycling it back into the machine. The cars have come a long way in the 75 years of this sport, but where they go next and how much is spent by each team is controlled by the governing body, the FIA. So could regulations change to bring in more circularity? From a team point of view, it's hard to imagine they wouldn't still put winning what we're doing the sustainability. There is still a real balance there, isn't there, between producing the cars that, and the drivers that can be the best they can be? Yes, absolutely. And, and where certain initiatives don't negatively impact performance, then we're very happy to let you know, market forces and the normal desire of teams to do the right thing to, to follow its course. Where certain initiatives do affect performance, uh, whether it is uh, because they cost more and they are penalizing a team on the financial regulations or whether it is that maybe they need the adoption of a material that maybe is maybe slightly less um, performant maybe a bit heavier or less stiff or what have you we will then need to make a regulation so you're right formula one teams do care deeply about these are objectives, but they also do care very deeply about winning and they will never compromise that. That's the nature of the sport. The car amounts for just a small percentage of the carbon impact of this sport. Yet Formula One and the individual teams have ambitious climate targets. How are you doing so far? You've created this data framework to assess your circularity. 
what's your score? So we have assessed for 2024 that we had 37% circularity on the car. Now that is really all coming from the fact that we are doing quite well in terms of recycling and reusing materials on our car. So there's lots of opportunity to improve, but it shows that we are already applying circularity and we've been able to win the championship. So I hope that gives people the confidence we can absolutely do this.